Hi children, how are you? This is Rajendra Manukonda, LFL Headmaster, MPP School, Railam, Bhimuram Mandal, West Godavari District, Andhra Pradesh. Usually, children like to play games and sports. I think that you are also so interested in playing games. There are so many games like cricket, hockey, football, kabaddi, etc. Dhyan Chand is famous in playing hockey. Now, let us go to discuss about Major Dhyan Chand. This is from class 4 English reader. Before going to the lesson, let us have an overview of the lesson Major Dhyan Chand. overview of the lesson. In this lesson we are going to discuss image reading, reading activity, question and answers. Now let us have a look at the learning objectives of the lesson. Learning Objectives By the end of the lesson, you will be able to discuss great personalities related to sports. Describe simple narrative text in the lesson. Identify irregular plurals and use them in different contexts. Now children, are you ready to enter into the first part of the activity? Image reading. Come on, let us start now. Dear children, observe the following picture. What are there in this picture? There are some pictures of balls, bats, and helmets, isn't it? Okay, now mention the names of any four balls from the picture. Football, cricket ball, basketball, and hockey ball. In cricket, why the players use helmet? Why because to protect their head from the cricket ball. Which game do you like the most? Some people like cricket, some people like hockey, and some like tennis and other games also. Where do you play? We play cricket in stadium, hockey in playground, tennis in tennis court, and like that. Now, let us see some pictures of various games. Football. Kabaddi. 
क्रिकेट समरी ऑफ द लेसन ध्यानचंद वॉज ए सोल्जर इन इंडियन आर्मी हिज रियल नेम वॉज ध्यान सिंह ही कुडंट प्रैक्टिस हॉकी ड्यूरिंग द डे बिकॉज ही यूज टू बी बिजी ऑन हिज ड्यूटी एज ए सोल्जर That is why he used it to practice at night in moonlight. It is believed that his coach fondly began to call him Dhyan Chand. Chand meaning is moon. The name stayed with him. He scored three goals here as well, Chandler. Yeah, it's not like he was talking a caravan out there. He was, uh, yeah, he was very very effective when he played. However. The stats say. Saturday, fifteen August, nineteen thirty-six. It was the day of the hockey finals during the Olympic events held in Berlin, Germany. Germany had defeated several teams to enter the final against the Indian team. They were the hosts of the Olympics and they were sure of their victory. No team could score a goal during the first half an hour. During the 32nd minute, Roop Singh scored the first goal, hitting the ball towards the goal post from a difficult angle. Jan Chen and Roop Singh glossary victory victory means win or success defeated lost postponed put off to a, a later time aggressive angry or ready to attack goal the act of hitting the ball into the goal post barefoot without wearing anything on the feet question number 1 who called dhyan singh as dhyan chand a his coach b Roop Singh, C, his friend, and D, Hitler.
Yes, absolutely correct. The right answer is his coach. Question number two. Where were the 1936 Olympics held? Option A, Delhi. Option B, London. Option C, Berlin. And Option D, New York. Yes, it is right answer. The right answer is option C, Berlin. Question number three. Who played against India in the final? Option A, Pakistan. Option B, Germany. Option C, Russia. And option D, China. The correct answer is option B, Germany. Question number four. What did the German roller offer to Dhyan Chen? Option A, higher salary and rank. Option B, car. Option C, house. And option D, ship. You are right. The right answer is option A, higher salary and rank. Question number five. Who won the Berlin Olympic Games in hockey? In the second half of the match, the Indian team scored three more goals. Two of them were scored by the captain of the, the Indian team, Dhyan Chen. The Germans also scored a goal. Dhyan Chen's spiked shoes were making it difficult for him to run fast on the wet ground. He removed the shoes and the socks began to run barefoot. The Indian team scored three more goals. The German goalkeeper pounced on Dhyan Chen and hurt him. But Dhyan Chen was a true soldier. After a little first aid, he immediately returned to the field and held the spectators spellbound with his game. Next, he scored the last goal of the match just as the game drew to a close, the Indian team had won the medal third time in a row. It was a hat-trick. Indians were the third time winners of the Olympic gold medal. It is said that the German roller offered Dhyan Chen a higher salary and rank in the German army if he agreed to play on behalf of Germany, but Dhyan Chen turned down the offer. After the celebrated victory in the Olympics, 
Hitler awarded a special gold medal to Jan Chen. You may be aware that hockey is our national sport. Major Jan Chen's birthday, August 29, is celebrated as National Sports Day in India. The famous national stadium in Delhi is named after the, the great hero Jan Chen. Who knows, perhaps one of you may carry the legacy of Jan Chen further and win great glory for our country. Now, children, let us discuss about the difference between singular and plural in vocabulary part. Singular means one. Plural means more than one. Let us have a check about singular and plural words. Look at the pictures and circle the appropriate word. Geese. Geese is the plural form of goose. Feet. Woman. Singular form. Tooth. Singular. Love. Singular. Mice. Plural form. Fill in the blanks with the plural words of the singular words given in the brackets. 1. I brush my dash in the morning. Tooth. Tooth is the singular form. You have to use plural form instead of singular. Teeth. Teeth is the plural form of tooth. Cats like to chase dash. What is the plural form of mouse? Mice. Mice is the plural form of mouse. My brother is six dash three inches height. What is the plural form of foot? Yes, feet. My brother is six feet three inches height. We saw a flock of dash in the lake. Write the plural form of goose. Yes. We saw a flock of geese in the lake. Find and circle the names at least five of the games and sports in the box. Write them in the space given. Kabaddi Tennis Hockey 
success. In the SSM part, read the following questions and write appropriate answers and show to your English teacher. We will discuss about pronouns, listening and responding in the next class. Bye children.